Wow, you look a little sleepy this morning. And I barely slept last night. What happened? Uh, Langston snores and Hope thinks it's hilarious, so between the two of them, I was up half the night. Well, why don't you get to your own room, huh? The office, maybe? My den? What? The, s room. the seven of us land on your doorstep last night and you want us to stay? You're my family. You're lonely. Admit it. The only reason why you're trying to make this work is because you miss Taya. <laughs> don't you look at me. Mom didn't say anything. It's obvious you want Taya back. You guys being here has nothing to do with Taya. It's just that I don't think Lamb uses sex. It used to be with Lola's commissioner now. I want you where I can see you. Well, thank you, Dad. Look at this. Lowell's first official act as commissioner was to release Miss Lawrence and clear him of all of his charges. Well, great. Now we can never go home. You know what? Maybe Dorian will smarten up and fire him and then rehire Bo. And if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. You been reading on the toilet or something? <laughs> oh, quotable quotes? No, I never heard of that. <laughs> okay, an officer will take your statement. You can't possibly take that woman seriously. She's a mental patient. Ah, uh, well, Commissioner Lowell. I'm in the middle of something, Miss Saybrook. It's Dr. Saybrook. And I need to confess to the stabbing of Mitch Lawrence. I must have been in a fugue state at the time. But you're in your right mind now, confessing to something you know you didn't do? I stabbed him. Get out of my office. Well, thank you for coming forward, Dr. Saybrook. An officer will take your statement. Commissioner Lowell. What? I stabbed Mitch Lawrence. With this. Of course, when I ask for your plea, it's not guilty. Right. What's going on? I just confessed to stabbing Mitch. What? So did I. We all did. But none of you did it. Neither did you. Hey. I have to take John down for arraignment. Uh, just a minute, really. Um, we have some new evidence in this case. Is that so? Yeah, it's... Uh, Commissioner, I understand you're in possession of some evidence exonerating my client. I suggest you drop the charges immediately. And since any judge in their right mind would dismiss this case, my office would have to concur. Don't think you can't be impeached. You know, it's actually your job I've been worrying about, Commissioner. Really, I think the press is all up in arms since you made the decision to let Mitch Lawrence go. And if you keep this personal vendetta going with John McBain, they're going to they're gonna really want to look into an investigation or maybe ask for your resignation. And then I think the people you work for would be very disappointed. Uncuff the prisoner. So the charges are dropped? Yes. But McBain... You're fired. Tell me something standing. Dorian tell you to fire me or did you come up with that one all on your own? I want your badge, McBain. Wait a minute. As I understand it, Commissioner, you dropped the charges because there was no evidence. There were no terms. Now, if you want to fire John without cause... You want I'll... cause? Take it up with IAD. Well, if John's out, I'm out, too. No, don't do that, Brody. All right? You got your whole career ahead of you. Don't throw it away over this, or I don't want help. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> you two want to get a room, or can we get back to business here? Oh, absolutely, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, don't apologize, officer. I, I know that the mayor, uh, commissioner appreciates your loyalty. Uh, other than that, he'd have to explain to the press why he has a mass exodus on his hands. My client and I will be in touch, Commissioner. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, that's interesting. Mm. At least those charges are dropped. Now, if you want to pursue the wrongful termination suit, later. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah. Well, now, that was... Uh... Amazing, dumb, but amazing. I think it was quite brilliant. Did you? Hmm. Yeah, hey, I, I gotta go. Um, I'm really glad you didn't have to go to jail. I just wish we could have saved your job. I'm fine, Cole. Thank you for what you did. Yeah. Actually, I gotta get going, too. I've got some patience. Oh. Your 18th birthday's coming up. I know. I can't wait. I don't know. Me either. And I'd like to make it special for you. So whatever you want. 
and that Mitch Lawrence is back in jail? Not yet, but I do have good news. John was released. Oh, that is good news. And then Lowell fired him. <laughs> Why is that funny? Hmm? Lowell tried to have me killed. He, he, he kidnapped Star and Hope. Oh, I know. He did all that. I hope he fries for it. I do. Doesn't mean I have to change my opinion of John McVeigh. No, you don't have an opinion. You just flat out hate him because uh, he rescued my mom from the prison you had her in upstairs. Danny? Look, Star, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, look, it's, this always happens when I'm in this house. Just you knowing my mom was locked up there for months. Well, you better get used to it. I want to see your girlfriend and your baby anymore. Because they're here now. They don't have to stay here. Star's almost 18. Pardon me? Yeah, we talked about this, right? Huh? When you turn 18? So how about it? Do you want to move in with me? There's no way you're moving in with him. Dad, I'm turning 18 in a couple days. You can't stop me. Watch me. I'm gonna lose another daughter. Another daughter? 